My mother, savage daughter, the one who runs barefoot, cursing sharp stones. I am my mother, savage daughter, I will not cut my hair, I will not lower my voice. Megan, how are you to that hey. sister? Oh, I am good. Hey, everybody in the chat. Welcome, <laughs> Zach. Hey, Reagan. Hey, April. Hey, Pinky Pink. Um, hey, how was Pinky you, Pink. Zach. How was moving? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm so wore out, and my bedroom is like, I've got clothes everywhere. My TV is on my bed. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, Heather. Hey, Hey, y'all. I'm sorry to everybody. Move, everything is going to be everywhere for a while and you won't be able to find anything. <laughs> That's how it no, goes. No, I know. I mean, like, everybody's like asking, like, Brian asked tonight, where, where's some alcohol? And we're like, I mean, like rubbing alcohol, not drinking alcohol. Right. Because he's got some coins he found that he's trying to get cleaned up. And <laughs> Carolyn and I were like, seriously. Right. Sure. You want us to tell you where the bottle of rubbing alcohol is right now? Okay. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God. Crazy. Crazy. But you know what? Everything's over here. All the dog, both the dogs are over here. So, whew, it's good. It's good. And then I got I'm the good. kitchen. Well, hello, Zach. Thank you for saying hello to me. I see you down there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, man. Good. Y'all will get there. It sounds like y'all got a lot done. So that's great. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 It was a well, good time. We just, today we just had a relaxing day. Lily and I stayed in our pajamas pretty much all day. It was amazing. And yeah. um, just kind of, you know, had a lazy, relaxing Sunday because yesterday we, you know, went out and about and did all kind of things. And shopped and she got some new stuff at the mall and we just made a whole day out of it and so today we just um chose to relax and it was lovely and right. took naps and slept in this morning i really needed to catch up on rest so it was great good i stay in my pajamas just about every day unless i have to get somewhere <laughs> i know that's the best thing to do if, yes. you know if i'm if yeah. I'm not in pajamas, I'm in something comfortable, you know, around the house for sure. So, right. Um, I've got a question for y'all in the chat. Can y'all see my picture or is it just the circle with the white in it? Um, we've been having a few issues, so I just need to know because all Megan is seeing is the white circle. Yeah, I don't see her picture. It was there when I first like came in the studio and then it went away. Right, yeah. So let us yeah. know if y'all see Michelle's picture. Right, please. Uh, oh, Heather, I, yeah, that's, uh, that's in me. Um, no, no picture showing. Well, well, I'm not going out and coming back in because it took no. me forever to get in. Until, so <laughs> Yeah, until the internet gets finished setting up and stuff. So right. I don't, we're going to try to play trivia. I don't know if it's going to kick me out when I go to share. So we're going to give it a try and we'll see if it kicks me out. I will be right back and um, Michelle will keep talking and stuff <laughs> that happens, but hopefully it's going to work. So it's right. just been one of those nights with um, for both of us. So yes. we'll see. <laughs> yes. Issues, issues. I'm strictly running off my phone tonight. Um, right. Zach says all I'm, day he usually just stays in his shorts. <laughs> I don't blame you. Yeah, when it's hot, I definitely want like a comfortable pair of shorts on or something, you know, like that. Right. Big yeah. t-shirt shorts, you know. Um, 
I forgot I was going to say something. I forgot what it was, but it'll come back to me. Oh, yeah, I'm calling tomorrow about the Internet. So um, hopefully, you know, they can come out. Look, I think they need to update my equipment. You know, they wow. do that so often. So I think it's time again. So I'm going to call tomorrow because usually I have no issues and I have what they call panoramic Wi-Fi where it works um, upstairs and downstairs and it hasn't been wanting to do good upstairs lately. And I paid yeah. too much money for it to not work. So I'm calling oh, yeah. they better yeah. get their hands out here and help me. <laughs> so right. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, they're supposed to be out to hook up to, I guess they have to run the lines, you know, is why they couldn't just flip it on um, and transfer, you know, from the one house to over here. So they're actually having to come out and run some, uh, the fiber optic crap. So um, we'll be good, I guess. <laughs> right, right. Um, I wonder if, if several other people are alive tonight, too, possibly. I don't um, know. We've got seven in here right now, so um, um, we can okay, play. Well, yeah, we'll go ahead and play. I'm going to share the screen, and we will cross our fingers and hope for the best. So here we go. Yeah, yeah, and I'll tell you what the chat's saying. So okay, all right, that sounds good. Okay, here we go. Trivia bound, y'all. So get your thinking caps and on. And I have um. I have one pulled up already from 1988. It's music. And the first question, who's, who was this artist? One Moment in Time was a hit for which female artist? Was it Cher, Madonna, Kylie Minogue, or Whitney Houston? Huh. Hey, Bliss Chris. Good to see you, hon. Hey, Bliss Chris. All um, right, so well, you just read the first question, so you have to take a guess. You need her to read one, it again. Uh, yeah, One Moment in Time, that's the song. Who sang it? Cher, Madonna, Kylie Minogue, or Whitney Houston? Well, right now we've got three saying Whitney. That would be. Yeah, I think it, it's a Whitney song, I'm pretty sure. Okay. So we'll go with Whitney. Right, I think yeah. on this one, it tells us at the end. Okay. Um, this is a different site I found, hoping that it wouldn't kick me out every time. So we'll see what happens. Okay. Um, who had a number one hit with The Way You Make Me Feel? Was it Billy Ocean, Erasure, Pet Shop Boys, or Michael Jackson? Ooh, I know this one. The Way one. You Make Me Feel. Yes. You know, this is one of my favorite artists and yours too. Yep. I know. We both love this artist. Yes, yes, yes. All right, everybody. <laughs> Michael, Michael, Michael. Yep. Hey, Zaya Rose. Michael. Good to see you. Yes, okay. Michael Jackson. Hey, okay, which British band sang Love Bites? Was it Status Quo, Iron Maiden, Def Leppard, or Queen? I know this one because I loved them. And I saw them in concert in the sixth grade. Status What's Quo, the Iron Maiden, the song Love Bites. Was it Status oh. Quo, Iron Maiden, Def Leppard, or Queen? Oh, Lord, I don't know who you saw in concert. Oh. Uh. <laughs> A lot of 80s bands I saw back then. <laughs> oh, well, I know it's not Queen because I know you didn't say Queen. <laughs> I'm seeing um, in the chat, I'm sh I, I guess y'all probably see that when I do that too, but... um. I see Def Leppard, Bliss Chris. Yeah, it's Def Leppard. That's my guess. And I know that is their song because I love them. So, yeah, I saw them in the sixth grade. Okay, I went with some cousins. My brother and I did. Okay, which British singer had a hit with Together Forever? Was it Rick Astley, Elton John, Phil Collins, or Steve Winwood? Together Forever. Rick huh. Astley, Elton John, Phil Collins, or Steve Winwood? Oh, me. I do I'm, not I know. I know it's not Elton John. And no. I don't think it was Phil Collins. It's, I, could, I could picture the song in my head. Oh, my gosh. Pink and pink. It, it was saying. Phil Collins? Okay, maybe it was. <laughs> and Heather said Phil. Okay. We'll go with Phil. Yeah. All right. Um, 
Who had a top 10 hit with Circle in the Sand? Gloria Stefan, Debbie Gibson, Belinda Carlisle, or Kate Bush? Circle in the Sand. I don't know that either. <laughs> Circle in the Sand. I don't know that song either. <laughs> um, in case I, could go. Um, I think I know. Uh, Pinky Pink is saying Belinda, Zach said yeah, Elton John. I think it's Belinda <laughs> Carlisle too, because I loved her back in the day. I also loved Debbie Gibson, but you know. Bliss Chris is shook, shook, sh shrugging her shoulders. We'll go with Belinda Carlisle. I'm pretty okay. sure. Um, and Pinky Pink usually is really, really good at this game too. Just like uh, uh, yeah, Zach, like, I have no car. idea either. Um, I mean, I know this one too. Who sang Fast Car? That was such a good song. Um, it was a top 10 hit for which American singer? Was it Gloria Gaynor, Tina Turner, Natalie Cole, or Tracy Chapman? Hey, and Tammy. They actually, did a remake of Fast Car. I think a country singer did a remake of it recently, right? So, uh, uh we got a Kate Bush every, and a Tracy Chapman. Uh, yeah, Tracy Chapman. It was Tracy Chapman. Mm hmm. What is Luke I'll let everybody Combs. guess. Though. Is it Luke Combs that did the country version, Pinky Pink? Is that what you're saying? Oh, okay. Probably so. Because every I kept hearing the, oh, okay. the new one, um, like when I would be when Lily was still going to, you know, before she started doing homeschool, when I was sitting in the carpool line, that song would come on almost every single day I was in the carpool line. The remake. Oh my gosh. So Tracy That's Chapman. Funny. Okay. Don't worry, be happy was a number one hit for whom? Phil Collins, Glenn Medeiros, Terrence Trent. D'Arby and Bo or Bobby McFerrin. I know this one too. Don't oh my worry, God, be happy. Yeah, that was you know such a good happy song from back happy. then. Don't worry, be so that's happy. a 1988 song. These are all songs from 1988, by the way. Um, I don't know why I was thinking the song was older than that, but I guess not. Well, we have Natalie saying? Cole, Natalie Cole, Bobby. Uh, Bobby McFerrin. Pinky Paint said Bobby, so you know. Yeah, it's Bobby. I say Bobby. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, which band had a number one hit in the U.S. with Bad Medicine? Was it? Oh, I know this one. Was it U2, Bon Jovi, Depeche Mode, or Aerosmith? I saw them in concert also in the seventh grade. Um, uh -huh. So was it? Um, U2 that sang Bad Medicine, Bon Jovi, Depeche Mode, or Aerosmith? God. Aerosmith. Oh, Bon Jovi. Bon yes, Jovi. Bon Jovi. Mm -hmm. We got two Bon Jovis. <laughs> I loved me some Bon Jovi back then. I had posters of him all over my room. Okay. Zaya Rose Which saw him too in Tampa. Oh, did you? Okay, yeah, I saw him in Baton Rouge um, here at the Assembly Center. Okay, which British band had a hit with Chains of Love? Commonards, Wet, Wet, Wet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you better. <laughs> oh, Lord. It was the Cure. Who sang Chains of Love? I knew wow. Michelle was going to get a kick out of that one. <laughs> Why in the hell would somebody name their band Wet, Wet, Wet? I mean, seriously. What's hashtag what's a limp biscuit. <laughs> uh, yeah, hashtag what's a limp biscuit and a deal and a dildo. A dildo and, a and wet, wet, wet. <laughs> oh, my God. Wet, wet, wet. I knew oh, we would get a new one tonight. We might even get more. Oh, we'll add that God. To the list. Hashtag wet, wet, wet. <laughs> You're not the only one in the chat, Zach. There's a bunch of people chatting. What's your? Can you not see everybody chatting? Uh oh. <laughs> Maybe he's having connection issues. Well, no, then he wouldn't be able to hear hear us, right? Unless, oh, I bet um, I know why he can't see them. Make sure you're on live chat, Zach, and not top chat. There should be like a little button at the top of the chat that you can switch from top to live and make sure you're on live and that way you'll see everybody uh, in the chat. give me just a second i'll be right back okay, okay yeah go ahead i'm gonna check the chat 
Um, let's see. Who do y'all think sings Chains of Love? Uh, hmm. We don't know, do we? Uh, y'all, I don't know. Do y'all have a guess? Chains of Love. The song, I mean, the title sounds familiar, but... Um, I'll see if anybody gives us a guess really quick. Okay, you want me to guess wet, wet, wet? Sure, why not? We're guessing okay, wet, had, wet, wet. Yeah, <laughs> who had a number one hit with Father Figure? Was it Rod Stewart, Eric Clapton, Billy Joel, or George Michael with Father Figure? Hmm. I don't know. I think I know this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I do know this one because, yeah, that was a pretty um, well-known song. Right, y'all? George Michael? Yeah, Pinky Pink. I say George Michael also. I probably needed to give it longer on that last question because I forget about the delay. So I'm going to start right, giving it yeah. longer before I... I need to let the chat be able to guess, you know, and it's, they got to catch up. So, okay. <laughs> so that dumb delay. It's not there. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we're going to go with uh, George Michael. Right. Okay. Um, what? Okay. Y'all are saying on that last one, I think a bunch of y'all were saying eraser. So I'm going to change it. Okay. Um submit my oh i didn't know you okay wait create a fee free i don't need to do that we just want to submit right right okay okay we got that one right we got that one right oh on this one together forever was rick astley oh and then okay we got that right circle in the sand we got it right tracy chapman we got don't worry be happy we got bad medicine yep yep y'all were right on chains of love and on father figure, so nine out of ten, almost perfect, so close, it said. <laughs> wow, that was good. It said the average score on this one's eight out of ten, so we did better than average. Yeah, we did. Okay, let me go out um, and see what else they have. I think that was a pretty good year, you know, um, for us to guess. What yes. year do y'all want to do now? Do y'all want to stick to the 80s or do y'all want to go to the 70s or go to the 90s or to the 2000s? Um, I'll let the chat decide. Okay. Because I can go out of here and go, um, you know, to different like years and stuff. So we've got Pinky Pink says the 80s was amazing. Heather McDonald 90s. said the 90s. Tammy Sue says the 80s. Okay, well, all right. Y'all want to stick with the 80s? Um, Zach says this is kind of hard for me. Oh, <laughs> I know. <laughs> just guess, uh, Zach. That's all you can do. Just take a guess. Yeah, just guess. Um, how about we do, y'all want to do 1987? Just kind of, we'll do that. We'll do 1987. Okay. Um, we'll do hits of 1987. How's that? Okay. So it'll be, you know, at least more well-known songs. Okay, who sang Nothing's Gonna Stop Us Now? It was a number one hit for which band? Europe, Starship, ABC, or ELO? I say ELO, but I don't know. We'll see what the chat says. I think I know this one. I don't think it's ELO, but... We'll see what the chat says. Oh, my wrong. God. Pinky Pink says Starship. Tammy Sue yeah, says Starship. Yeah, that's who I would go with, Starship. Yeah. I used to Heather like them a lot. Starship. That was a pretty yeah. good song back in the day. All right. Yeah. Which female singer sang Let's Wait a While? Patti Smith, Madonna, Janet Jackson, or Whitney Houston? Let's Wait a While. Hmm. Don't know. I don't think I know this one either. Hopefully the chat will know. 
We have a request for country music next, baby. Oh, sure. Uh, we can do country. Pinky Pink says Janet. Oh, it's a Janet Jackson song. Okay. Tammy Sue said Janet. Uh, Zach, right. we'll do country music next. Yeah, we'll do Zaya country says for Janet. you, Zach. Okay. We'll do um, Janet. All right. Which band covered the Richie Valens classic La Bamba? Was it Tierra? Fama, El Chicano, or Los Lobos? I actually know this one. We'll let the chat, though, guess, of course. La Bamba. Who remade that song? Tierra, Fama, and I'm probably butchering some of these names. El Chicano or Los Lobos? Los Lobos. My four years Los of Spanish at got me absolutely nowhere because I didn't keep up with it. That was really not smart, was it? <laughs> we have got three Los Lobos. Yes, Los Lobos. Okay. I Want Your Sex was a hit for which British singer? Rod Stewart, Tom Jones, David Bowie, or George Michael? That was a pretty popular song. I think that song put this person on the map, right? Like, wasn't that this person's like first big hit uh, or at least I'm right we've got a George Michael so far let's see what everybody right, else said. really uh, we've got a Rod Stewart <laughs> okay. I was gonna say Rod Stewart too Heather but Pinky Pink said George Heather yeah, said I Rod Okay, I think it's George Michael. Yes, Zachary. But After this one, we're going to do country. We are. Y'all want to go with George Michael? Uh, let's see. Okay. Which British... I can always change it, too, if anybody decides. Okay. Which British band had a top 10 hit with I Just Died in Your Arms? Was it Ultravox, Cutting Crew, Big Country, or New Order? Huh. I remember the song, but I don't know who sings it. Does anybody know? I would say Big Country, but I don't know. I'm just throwing a guess out there. Cutting Crew says Pinky Pink. Cutting okay. Crew says Zaya. Cutting Crew? Okay. Yeah. I'll go with that. Heaven is a place on earth was an international hit for which American singer? Belinda Carlisle, Gloria Stefan, Debbie Gibson, or Suzanne Vega? I know this one too. Lord help, I don't know none of them. This person, um, had a lot of songs around 88, 87, 89, kind of in that range. So we far, had, we've got one Belinda. Yeah, it's, it's Belinda. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Two Belindas. <laughs> okay. It's a Sin was a hit for which pop band? Duran Duran, Pet Shop Boys. Frankie Goes to Hollywood or Thompson Twins? Are you serious? I don't think Frankie? I know this one. Frankie Goes to Hollywood was really a bad. <laughs> yep, it was. But I don't know who's saying it's a sin. Where I'll do they come the up with these names? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Well, <laughs> right now we've got Pet Shop Boys. Okay, we got a Pet Shop Boys. Yeah. All right, well, we'll go with Pet Shop Boys, if that's our guess. Um, if y'all want me to ever change an answer, just let me know in the chat. I Just Can't Stop Loving You was a hit for which American artist? Was it Peter Cetera, Prince, Lionel Richie, or Michael Jackson? I Just Can't Stop Loving You. I know. You know, you know. <laughs> yes. Yes. 
Yes, of course. Pink. Of course, Michael. we know. <laughs> yeah, Michael. Your favorite. Yeah. yeah. Is everybody saying Michael in the chat? Let me. Well, let me Pinky see. Pink has said Michael. That's the only one I see so far. Okay. All right. Who had a hit with the cover version of Tommy and James and the Shondells? I think we're alone now. Oh, I know this one. Kylie Minogue, Kim Wilde, Tiffany, or Paula Abdul? Who's saying, I think we're alone now? And the person did that little dance with her hand. Remember that? In the like in the video to the song? I, don't know if I, I never did that. watch <laughs> I never did watch music videos, so. Oh, God. Well, that's when there was actually music videos on MTV. <laughs> yeah, see, and so I never did watch ago. them. Uh, so, April and Pinky Pink are saying Tiffany. Tammy Sue is yep. saying Tiffany. It's definitely Tiffany. Yeah. Which male artist had um, success with the pop song Never Gonna Give You Up? Rick Astley, Boy George, Nick Kershaw, or Howard Jones? Oh, I don't know. I can I can sing the song, but I, I can't picture who it is. I think I know, but I'm not 100%. So, Pinky Pink is saying Rick. Okay. That's who I would go with. Yeah. It's not Boy George. Um. I don't know yep. who Nick Kershaw is or Howard Jones. So far, we've got two Ricks. Okay, we'll go with Rick. Like I said, we can always change it if we need to. Okay. Oh, that's it right there. We'll submit and see how we did. Okay, we got Starship Right, Janet Jackson, Los Lobos, George Michael, Cutting Crew, Belinda Carlisle, Pet Shop Boys, Michael Jackson, Tiffany, Rick. We did. Oh, 10 out of 10, y'all. Wow. Perfect score. Do, 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 do. We know our way 80s go, music. Y'all. Oh. Uh, way to go, everybody. Good All right, job. now I need to go to country. So let me try to get back to, like, the main screen and see if I can figure that out real quick. Um, you know, this, this site, knock on wood, is doing a lot better. Yeah, so far, so good. I hope it has country in here. Um, Let me scroll down and see. Oldies, pop, miscellaneous, chart toppers. Let me just keep on going. Name that song. Uh-oh, it doesn't look like we have country. Hmm. Oh, well. No country, Zach. It doesn't have country. Not in this on game. Not Next time we play trivia, I'll make sure to go maybe to back to that other site where I think they did. But um, what year do y'all want to do? Maybe, right. would, maybe something more current. Would that be better? You think maybe Zach would know some more current stuff? Uh, maybe. I don't I don't know. Zach, would it's, you know, know more current stuff? Maybe he said just a minute ago he was a <coughs> child, a kid. I don't know what a kid means, but anyway. <laughs> uh, um, uh, oh, pretty well, neat. We're just playing trivia, so it's nothing bad in here tonight. It's family yeah. friendly tonight. Anybody can come before just the trolls have a and fit. So. Right. I saw the comment a minute ago. <laughs> And I was like, what? <laughs> yeah, but. Oh, wait, we had a comment? Yeah, that said, yes, ma'am, I'm a kid. <laughs> oh, okay. That's okay. It's family friendly tonight, so it's all right. Oh, yeah. Um, we're, we're just playing trivia to music, so it's nothing bad. And if I saw, if I see something really, really bad, I'll take it off the screen. But I don't think anything's going to show up on this, you know? No, no, no. Hey, so. Speed Roman. So glad you're here. Yes, yes, yes. So Speed Roman's, I think, is a rocker, isn't he? Okay, so let's, y'all want to, I think I saw a rock category. Didn't I just pass that up? 
We've got classic hits, pop hits, music through the decades. Um, where did I see the rock? Mm -hmm. Soft rock. Nostalgic uh, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Um, I just swore I oldies music. I don't know. Yeah, he said yeppers 100 percent <laughs> Okay. Well, here, well, they have rock lyrics from the 90s and 2000s. They got that right there. Random well, we slash rock. Okay. Oh, finish these good. rock lyrics. Oh, that well, they go from the 90s to 2002. So maybe go back to that first one that I saw. Um Rock lyrics from the 90s to the 2000s. I want to yeah, let's out. do that. And we okay. finished. Oh, yeah. Speed Ramen says, I'll try. Let's see. <laughs> okay. And if not, we'll try to find a different one after this. Um, okay. Name the song. Why give up? Why give in? It's not enough. It never is. Is it until the end? Break From Breaking Benjamin, 1975, Smashing Pumpkins, 1X. Three Days Grace or Jesus Take the Wheel from Carrie Underwood. Oh, let's see what they it say. Is it never is. I don't think what that's is, a Carrie Underwood song. Jesus Take the Wheel? I don't know. So nobody's guessing yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is hard. We might have to go back out. <laughs> Oh, it, look what it says at the top. Tough is the, is the category. Oh, my God. <laughs> no wonder the chat quit. Uh, so, Speed Roman says, nope, no idea, dummy. <laughs> Heather um, says, no friggin' clue. Neither do I. Zach says, I'm a monster. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, should I go out? <laughs> Uh, probably since that one says tough. Yeah, let's try okay, a different let's one. let's find a better one. Okay. <laughs> um, we've got chart, chart Toppers by the Decade, and they go from the 40s to the 2000s. You probably can pick a year. I want to look at that. Or ra okay, Random Pop Rock, True or False, from the 60s through the 90s. Let me see what's under there. Well, is let's just try it. Does anybody know yeah. this? Jim Croce died in a plane crash in 1973. Which song hit number one after his death? Was it Sundown, Bad Bad, Le Leroy Brown, Time in a Bottle, or Operator? Oh, my gosh. I know those songs, but I don't know. Not sure um, which one. Yeah, I don't know which one became popular after I want to say Bad Bad Leroy Brown, and that's what Speed What's Roman the, said. That's okay. what Pinky Pink said. All right, we'll go with that. It's going to tell us at the end which ones we get right. Yes, yeah, Speed um, Roman. It's usually 10 questions. Okay. Both John Lennon's sons, um, Sean and Julian, have charted in the U.S. with hit singles as of 2004. Is that true or false? Oh, good. Hey. I have no idea. John Lennon's sons, Sean and Julian, have they charted they charted in the U.S. with hit singles as of 2004, true or false? Hmm. Speed I, Romans is saying true. Okay, we'll go with true. Glenn Campbell replaced one of the Beach Boys and toured with them briefly in the mid 60s, which Beach Boy did Glenn replace? Was it Carl Wilson, Al Jordan, Bruce Johnson, or Brian Wilson? Who did um, who Glenn Campbell replaced one of the Beach Boys? Who was it? Oh my God, I listened to the Beach Boys all the time and I did not know that, that Glenn Campbell replaced so. one of the Beach Boys briefly in the mid 60s. So it was just briefly. Was it Carl Wilson, Al, Bruce, or Brian? What does the chat say, Michelle? <laughs> well, Speed Roman said Donald Trump. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so 
So I've got a Brian. I've got a Bruce. <laughs> oh, God. He was probably in rehab. <laughs> He's probably in rehab. Yeah, probably. Yeah. So we got a Brian. We got a Bruce. And that's all we've got so far. And oh, my gosh. Let's say Brian. Okay. Let's go with Brian. Okay. It's All probably right, wrong. Moving on. Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple is widely regarded as the first heavy metal single to hit number one in the U.S. True or false? Smoke I'll on the Water you know this. by Deep Purple. <clears throat> yes. Was it? Is it true or false? Was it the first heavy metal single to hit number one in the U.S.? Oh, my gosh. I know the song. Oh, but I don't know. I don't know if it was um uh so Heather McDonald is saying false. Uh Speed Roman said false. Okay. We'll go with false. Okay. I trust y'all on this. All yeah. right. How many number one songs did the Bee Gees have before the Saturday Night Fever soundtrack was released? Two, none, one, or three? I say none, but we'll see what everybody the, else How many number one songs did the Bee Gees have before Saturday Night Fever? Yeah. I'm saying Two, none. none, but, one, three. You're saying none, okay. I'm saying none. Heather McDonald is saying none. Okay. Speed Romans is saying two. And let's see what else we get. And I'm not sure. I mean, I know, you know, several of their songs, but I just don't know, like, if it was before or not. Uh, Lord. So, Pinky Pink is saying nine? She might have oh. meant to say none. Was nine yeah. even a guess? No, I think she's probably, she probably meant none, I bet. Because it's two, none, one, or three. And I bet she meant to type none. Huh. Like zero, none. Yeah, yeah. So, y'all want to go with none? Um, yeah. yeah, let's go with none. Three but if, it, okay. if it's two, then Speed Romans is going to knock us in the head. <laughs> yeah. Because they two. Right. Although having a chart career... In the USA from 1971 through the early 90s, Earth, Wind, and Fire has only had one number one hit during that time. What was it? Boogie Wonderland, After the Love Has Gone, Shining Star, or September? What was Earth, Wind, and Fire's only number one hit? Boogie Wonderland, yeah. After the Love Has Gone, Shining Star, or September? Huh. Let's see. Speed Romans is saying September. I love that song, too. Tammy Sue is saying September. Heather is not sure. It makes me wish I could play the song, because some of these are really good, you know? Yes, I know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so... so September. Yeah, September? Okay. Yeah. Including his hit singles with the Beatles, Paul McCartney has spent more weeks at number one than Elvis Presley. True or false? Including his hit singles with the Beatles. Do you, is it true that Paul McCartney spent more weeks at number one than Elvis Presley or false? Hey, Laura, how are you? Hey, Laura. Speed Romans is saying true. Okay. See, that would have been my guess. I'm not sure, but that's what I would have been. Tammy, Tammy Sue is saying true. Heather is saying true. Okay. Let's give everybody else a chance. We yeah, got, we'll let everybody guess before yeah. we press it. Yeah, we've got 11 people in here, so. Okay. 
And Tammy Sue said only because he lived longer. <laughs> hey, oh, yeah. yeah. I mean, more songs, right? Right. They did yeah. have a lot of songs, so. Yeah. I know Elvis did too, but. Yeah, he did. God love him. All yeah, right, so I guess we're going to go with True. We're going to go uh, with True? Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Number eight. Between 1955 and 2004, who has the record for the most consecutive number one songs in a row? Is it Whitney Houston, Bee Gees, The Beatles, or Elvis Presley? For, so between 1955 and 2004, who has the record for the most consecutive number one songs in a row? Whitney, Bee Gees, Beatles, Elvis Presley. Wow, that's a hard one. That is a hard one. But, I mean, I wouldn't say Whitney, though she did have a lot of number one hits, right? But, I mean, they're going through, a, it's a pretty big time range right there. Yeah. But, um, I could see it being the Beatles or Elvis Presley for sure, right? So, we've got an Elvis uh we've got a Bee Gees. I think everybody has real is really lagging behind us because I'm still getting guesses on the other questions. Um Okay. You getting Elvis? Sad? I'm getting I've got a Elvis, I've got two Bee Gees. Is the Bee Gees a choice okay. in that? Yeah, Bee Gees. It's Whitney Houston, Bee Gees, Beatles, or Elvis Presley. Oh wow. And I've got a, a Whitney. Oh, my gosh. This is a toss-up. I know. So, it is a toss-up. See, I was kind of leaning towards Beatles or Elvis. But, God, I know. It's hard. It's really hard because I guess it could go either way with all four of these people, right? Okay. So, nobody has guessed uh, the Beatles. But okay. we do have we do have an Elvis. We've got Bee Gees. We've got Whitney. How many? Give me the one that the some that er, has the most guesses. Bee Gees. Okay, we'll go with that. All right. Which of the following was a number one hit for James Brown? James never had a number one hit. Living in America. I got you. I feel good. Papa's got a brand new bag. So, which one was the following number one hit for James Brown? Did he not have a number one hit? Or was it for Living in America, I Got You, Papa's Got a Brand New Bag? Wow. So, let's see. Papa's Got a Brand New Bag. That's what I was going to say, too. Speed right. Roman. Let's see what everybody else says. Dun, 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 dun. Heather <laughs> says no clue. <laughs> no clue. I don't dun, know either. Dun, 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 dun. I know some of these songs, but I don't right. know they're number one. So far, we just got one. Papa's got a brand new bag. Um, Pinky Pink says he didn't have any. Okay. That could be the answer. Oh, man, I didn't know James Brown didn't have any. You know, because James Brown was somebody that Michael Jackson really looked up to, too. Right. That's true. Okay, yeah. so what should I pick, Michelle? Oh. oh. God. Probably he didn't have any. Okay, we'll go with that. And if any, I can always change it, too. Um, David Lee Roth ended up leaving Van Halen because he wanted to do a solo project without leaving the group, and the group disagreed. True or false? <laughs> David Lee Roth ended up leaving Van Halen because he wanted to do a solo project without leaving the group, and the group disagreed. Is that true or false? Oh, God. What's our rock friend okay. say? <laughs> so I've got oh uh, Speed Roman says absolutely true. Heather okay. McDonald is saying true. All right. Let's I wait believe and see. them. Yeah. Yeah. Wait and see what everybody else is going to go with. Right. Uh, oh. 
Mm-hmm. I like these questions better than the other trivia thing, I think. Oh, Michelle. yeah. Yeah, these are a little bit tougher, but I do like it better, too. All right, mm-hmm. so let's go with true because I'm not getting anything else. So. Okay, let's. Oh, this has a few more questions. Okay. In the U.S., as of the year 2000, Elton John has scored more top 40 hits than the Beatles. Is that true or false? Well, I would Elton say true. John, yeah, it could be true, huh? He does have a lot. I love Elton John. Does he yeah. have more top 40 hits than the Beatles, y'all? Mm. Not saying anything yet. All right. Heather McDonald says true. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, Speed Rowans, go ahead and go take the doggies out. He said true. We've got three trues so far. Okay. Three trues. All right. Pinky Pink said true, so that's four. Okay. Alias, who had the number two single, More Than Words Can Say, in 1990, consists of two former members of the group Sheriff and two former members of Heart. Is that true or false? Oh, wow. Alias, who had two number, had two... Wait, had the number two single, More Than Words Can Say in 1990, consists of two former members of the group Sheriff and two former members of Hard. I kind of want to say that's false because I thought More Than Words Can Say was a different band. But yeah. I, y'all don't, don't listen to me, but I really thought somebody else sang that. What do y'all say? Uh, so... Heather's saying no clue. (laughs) Uh, Yeah. (laughs) I could be wrong, but um, let's wait and see. I'm thinking more than words can say is, um, oh, what is the name of that band? Maybe that is them, and I just don't know the name. That's going to drive me crazy. Well, we'll know in just a little bit, but nobody else is guessing on that one so far. This one's a hard one. I think we are experiencing a big delay, so. Yeah, we'll give them a minute. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there is a delay between when we read it and the chat answering. Okay. Absolutely. So, Blind Mom Laura says, uh, I know some was from heart. It is the sheriff's guy I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Should we guess Mm. true? (laughs) Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Um, All right. True it is then. Um, We'll go with. Okay. Paul Simon um, has recorded under several different names. Which one of the following is not one of them? Paul Kane, Alexander Nevermind. Tico and the Triumphs or Jerry Landis? Oh my God, I have no idea. <laughs> Me either. Paul Simon, he's recorded. I never knew he recorded under several different names. I um, didn't know which. Yeah, which one? Uh, it was not one of them. Does anybody know? Paul Kane, Alexander, never mind. Tico and the Triumphs, Jerry Landis. That was quick, Spade Romans. <laughs> Uh, Glad you're back. Uh, we need so help. Everybody is saying no clue. I don't no know. Clue. Yeah, I don't know either. I might need to whip out Google and cheat. <laughs> Pinky Pink has got the EMTs here. They are looking for the right house. Okay. Oh, okay. They're they're trying to find a house, ha- like going to a house nearby her. I guess. Yeah. Probably. So. Um, I think you're just going to have to pick one up there. Just just shut your eyes and click. <laughs> All right. How about we go with Tico and the Triumphs? I don't know. Okay. Okay. Know. Bar- Streisand has recorded duets with all of the following except Don Johnson, Celine Dion, Barry Gibb, or Julio Iglesias. Who did she not um, record a uh, duet with? 
Barbara Streisand, and she's done a lot of duets. So, oh wow, Don Johnson, Celine, Barry Gibb, or Julio Iglesias. Wow, my guess would love. be Don Johnson. Heather said Don 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 Johnson, Don Johnson too. Yeah. Um. Oh, my mom loved Barbara Streisand. She had like every tape when tapes were in and then when we switched to cd she had every cd and then she loved celine but those were probably her two favorites yes i love celine too me too um, <laughs> tammy Sue said she had to run out back there was a big old german shepherd out there in my yard and i have cats oh dear <sighs> glad you got him shushed away <laughs> okay, so Flying Mom Laura said she did sing with Don Johnson, so it's not okay. him. It's not Don Johnson. Okay. Um, oh my gosh. I really thought Celine and Barbara did something together. I could be wrong, but I really thought they did. Uh, what about you know, Julio and Yeah, maybe Julio Iglesias? Anybody know if she sang with Julio? Yeah, Flying Mom Laura is saying maybe Julio. Maybe Julio. Let's try that and see. Okay. okay. The Rolling Stones, Rod Stewart, and the Hughes Corporation all recorded number one songs that can be regarded as disco. True or false? Oh. <coughs> the Rolling Stones did a disco song? Huh. Yeah, I don't know. I the remember Stones, disco. Rod Okay, yeah, Rod Stewart and the Hughes Corporation. I've never heard of the Hughes Corporation. I know Rolling Stones and Rod Stewart. So I've got two trues so far. Okay. Uh, those co uh, those are coming from Speed and Laura are saying true. Okay. Pinky Pink is saying true, so let's go with true. That's three trees. Right. Okay. Okay, we'll see what we got right now. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, well, the first one was not Bad, Bad Leroy Brown. It was Time in a Bottle. Uh oh. The second one was, um, let's see, True on the John Lennon with Sean and Julian. Okay, yeah. we've got the third one right, the fourth one right. The fifth one was None. I think somebody did say none to that answer. Right. Um, six was a shining star. Oh my God. And I had two, two or three people saying, no, it was shining, okay, shining star. Right. Yeah. I probably should have changed it. Okay. We got seven, right? Number eight was Elvis Presley. Oh, wow. He had the most consecutive number one songs in a row. Okay. Yeah. Number nine, we got right. He never had one. Number 10 was true about David Lee Roth. Mm -hmm. um, number 11 was true. He got it right. Number 12 was true. 13, Paul Simon. Uh, of course, I picked the wrong answer on that one. That one was my fault. It was Alexander. Never mind. I almost picked that one. Dang it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was Julio Iglesias. I thought we picked Julio Iglesias. What did I pick? Wait a minute. Didn't I press Julio Iglesias or am I losing it? You should have. Okay. Oh, we got it right. Never mind. Okay. Okay. Um, so we got 15 right. Okay. Seven out of 15. Yeah. Oh. Well, we tried, right? I think we failed. <laughs> we failed. <laughs> Let me go out. <laughs> what do y'all want to play oh, now? Oh, God. That was kind of fun. Uh, I know. Maybe we'll uh, play another one. Okay. Um, yeah. We've got, uh, I think the ones in purple, the ones we did, right? So, yeah. Pop Goes 50 Years, um, iPod Shuffle, Billboard Top 100 from the 60s to the 2000s, Finish These Rock Lyrics, um, Matching Songs with Their Year, 
lyrics through the year and I could go back out too and get look, you know, they have all the year things too. Albums by the decades, five decades of rock. You want to do that one? Yes. That sounds okay. fun. Okay. Five decades of rock. Which band sang the following lyrics? You should have seen by the look in my eyes. Sticks, Oreo Speedwagon, Journey, or Bad Company? Oh. I think I know this one. I'm singing it in my head right now. So, Oreo Speedwagon is a guess. Yeah, here. that's my guess. Uh, I love them. That's uh, Pinky Pink is saying Oreo Speedwagon. So we got two yeah. for Oreo. Okay. Three for Oreo. So let's go with Oreo. All right. We'll go with Oreo. I love that. I love Journey also. Okay. What band wrote these lyrics? Did I fall asleep? Is this all a dream? Was it Trapped, Breaking Benjamin, Three Days Grace, or Nickelback? <sighs> um, and I have no idea. <laughs> so the only one of those bands that I know is Nickelback. Yeah. So. Well, I know, I know Breaking Benjamin, Three Days Grace, and Nickelback, but I've never heard of Trapped. Hmm. So, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Speed Romans did that freaking emoji with the eyes wide open, you know? Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh. This is more, this has got to be like a more current, right? Like, I don't know it. <laughs> uh, he didn't like any of them. He's. <laughs> I don't like you. Yeah, I don't like any of them either. <laughs> oh God! So nobody's guessing yet. <laughs> the Beatles. We're gonna have to just. We're gonna have to pick one, right? Does yeah. anybody know? I mean, we don't. Nobody's like even bands. made a guess. <laughs> yeah. Well, should we just pick Nickelback because we know Nickelback? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Okay. All right. Um. The noose gets tighter around my throat. What bangs, What band sings these lyrics? ACDC, Skid Row, Jackal, Mudvayne? The noose gets tighter around my throat. Oh, wow. Lord. Is the noose getting tighter around their throat because somebody's hurting them? Or is it like a thing that they're into? <laughs> I don't know. But... <laughs> So, uh, three days grace is that a? Oh, that's they're they're guessing on the other uh, question. Oh. I'll change it to three days grace on that one. Now for this one, that the answers are um, ACDC, Skid Row, Jackal, or Mudvayne, and it says who sang the lyrics the news gets tighter around my one throat. for mudbane and i've got two for skid row and i was gonna say skid row too because i've never heard any of their music so oh um they opened up for bon jovi when i went to that concert oh okay okay let's see we'll go with skid row can okay. you tell me who sang these lyrics Live and learn from fools and from sa sages, Def Leppard, Aerosmith, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd. Sages, sages, whatever. Sages. Live and learn from fools and from sages. Oh. I have no. So that Def Leppard, Aerosmith, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd. So I've got an Aerosmith. Okay. And Speed Roman said definitely Aerosmith because it's his favorite okay. band. I love it. Well, Aerosmith. he's the only one that's guessed so far. So 
I believe him though. If Aerosmith is his favorite band, he probably right, knows yeah. all their songs. And Blind Marm Laura, Laura said uh, Aerosmith too. Aerosmith, okay. Yeah. Educated lady with your college degree. This band originated in the 60s. Can you tell me who the band is? Is it Ario Speedwagon, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, or Styx? Educated lady with your college degree. Huh. Ario Speedwagon, Led Zeppelin, Pink Floyd, Styx. <clears throat> so, Pinky Pink is saying Led Zeppelin. Okay. Bum, bum. Tammy Sue is saying Led Zeppelin. Okay. Anybody else going to guess on that one? If not, we're going to go with Led Zeppelin. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we'll go with Led. Well, did you get another guess? <laughs> Speed Robin said, I don't know. I'm so ashamed laughing my butt That's off. That's okay. <laughs> we'll go so with we'll Led go Zeppelin. With, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, this band has really started to become more popular. Can you tell me the band name? I'm losing my sight, loving, losing my mind wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. Theory of a dead man, disturbed, Papa Roach, or Slipknot. Like these wow. are like heavy, heavy metal bands, right? I love Disturbed. If you can believe that, I like Disturbed. Uh, they, the, the lyric is, I'm losing my sight, losing my mind. Wish somebody would tell me I'm fine. Theory of a Dead Man, Disturbed, Papa Roach, Slipknot. So far, we've got one guess for Slipknot. Let's we'll see okay. what everybody else Slipknot. Got a Papa Roach. Okay. Uh, we got a false false. I think somebody is way behind. That's okay. Oh, goodness. Tammy Sue has no idea. Me either, Tammy. So, Pinky Pink has said Papa Roach and, uh, uh, Speed Roman says, I don't know, but I'm going to say Slipknot. Okay. Um, so, somebody else give us a, a guess. Give Break us a tiebreaker. Tie. Yeah. <laughs> somebody give us a tiebreaker. Laura, what do you say? I know. I do, too, uh, Laura. She likes Disturbed's Sound of Silence. I love that. Oh, yeah. I like that song. And I did okay. watch that video. So. Right. Because I heard him doing that, and I was like, oh, my gosh. So I found so the video. What, which one uh, are we going to go with, Michelle? Uh, let's see. Hold on. Looks like we're going to go with Papa Roach. Okay, we'll go with Papa Roach. All right. Every night I say a prayer in the hope that there's a heaven. Who sang these lyrics? Sticks. Reliant K, Fuel, or Creed? Every night I say a prayer in the hope that there's a heaven. Sticks, Reliant K, Fuel, or Creed? I'm, I say sticks, but I, uh, oh my goodness. I'm not sure. Speed Romans is saying Creed because they're religious. Yeah, they are. Right, that's true. Good guess on that. I would have probably, I had to guess that one. Yeah. God. Speed Romans, I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to be live again tomorrow night at 8.30. Um, do, 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 do. It's going to be about some... Um, it's a true crime night. Um, yeah. True crime. And we're going to do um, 18 of the, like, the most, the like, the top the top 18 cases that took over 20 or more years to solve. Right, yeah. The most disturbing top 18 cases. Yeah. So, come back and join us. Hey, uh, Speed Romans, are you on Twitter? If you are, then you can look in the description and get both mine 
and uh, Megan's Twitters and give us a follow on Twitter and then you'll always see when we're going to be live because we always post it in Twitter. Um, and I try to also post it on my com our community tab on YouTube also. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Ooh, what do y'all want to go with on this one? Creed? Uh, well, I've got two for Creed and i got a bunch for Sticks. So, okay, so Sticks. Stick, yeah. All right. Um, when I was younger, so much younger than today, I never needed anybody's help in any way. Who sang these lyrics? Eagles, The Who, The Beatles, The Guess Who. When I was younger, so much younger than today, I never needed anybody's help in any way. Eagles, The Who, The Beatles, The Guess Who. All right, Heather, glad you could join us. You have a good rest of the night. We'll see you tomorrow night. And speed Night, Roman, Heather. if you're going to join Twitter, uh, you do that and then get mine and um, Megan's uh, Twitters out of the description and um, follow us and we'll follow you back. OK. OK. Absolutely. So. Let's see. Ooh, let me see. Oh, yeah. Everybody hit the like button, too. Um, hey, Speed Romans is guessing. The Guess Who? The Guess Who? Yeah. Okay. Can Let definitely... me read the comment right here. Hold on. Oh, sure. I know, Go ahead. I know this is off topic, but did anyone watch the 2020 about Ruby Frankie? They released a lot of information on there, and that it was worse than we would have thought. I figured that. I did not watch that 2020 April, but I'm not surprised a bit. You know. Oh gosh, I'll have to watch it, April. Um, I'll pull yeah. it up and try to give it a um a watch so we can talk about it. That'd be a good uh, one to discuss. Pinky Pink is saying the Beatles. Okay, we got the Guess Who and the Beatles. Um, yeah. I think. Uh, Laura said no idea. So, and I don't know either. All right. Are we just going to stick with the guess who? Uh, or what do you want to do? Uh, I don't care. Because <laughs> I don't know. I don't know I got, either. Okay. I got thrown off. I was thinking about that uh, Ruby Frankie crap. Right. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. Oh, I was born six gun in my hand. This song was sung by which of the following bands? Survivor, Journey, Bad Company, Bad English. Oh, I was born six gun in my hand. Hmm. I just put my um, Twitter in my in the chat too. You want me to do yours too? Yeah, you'll have to because I I can't remember. Yeah. Now my Twitter is locked down because of. You know, there's always trolls. So, but if you send me a follow request, I'll approve it. Yeah. And mine is not locked down. Uh, Speed Roman saying it's definitely bad company. Okay. Bad company. I'm trying to find you real quick, Michelle. It's at Mills, Michelle. So. Okay. <laughs> for your Twitter. Okay. That's easy yeah. enough to remember. Yeah. All right. Let's go to the next one. Um, it's all the same. Only the names will change. This song was sung by which band? Bon Jovi, Bad Religion, Steve Perry, Toto. I know this one finally. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. We're not going to give us just a second. Bon oh, Jovi? No, no. Let, them, let them guess. Yeah. I got a Bon Jovi. So far. Yep, that's who I was guessing. I might hear Chloe in the background meowing. <laughs> <laughs> we 
we've got two Bon Jovis. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to snooze that Twitter chat. <clears throat> Uh, two Bon Jovi guesses so far, and that's by uh, Speed Romans and Pinky Pink. So, yeah, it's Bon Jovi. Okay, um, that's it. We'll see what we got. Okay, we got the one, two, three, four. We got right five was Led Zeppelin. Okay, we got six, seven. Okay, eight was the Guess Who. Oh, no, it was the Beatles. The Beatles. Okay, I think Pinky Pink guessed that, didn't she? Okay. Yeah. Um, number nine, Bad Company. Ten, we got right. Okay, we're not bad, y'all. Eight out of ten. I think that's pretty good. Right. What do you think? Oh, I do, too. Did you, are we wrapping it up or playing again or what do you want to do? What time um, is it? I think we need to wrap it up. We This has been okay. an hour and two minutes so far. Right, yeah, so. it's been an hour. And um, I'm so tired, y'all. I know, you've stay. been moving all weekend. Yeah, um, and I've got to um, study for tomorrow's live, too. So, we thank everybody for joining us tonight. We had a good time. I hope you all had a good time. I hope everybody yeah, comes fun. back. Yeah, for our live tomorrow night, our um, true two crime night, right? And then I think on Wednesday night we have the live on fitting. Is it fitting all or fitting all? Fitting all? I don't. Can, yeah, people say it either way. Um, some people say, call, you know pronounce it fitting all, and some say fitting all. Always say fitting all. But yeah, right. we're gonna. You are addiction and recovery segment, and um, at, I had a request to go over, uh, you know, what is fentanyl. So we're going to talk about fentanyl on Wednesday. Yeah, and, um, and then, maybe live in between. You know, if something yeah. comes up that we need to talk about, and um, you know, we'll see how the week goes. We might throw in another trivia somewhere along the way. So we'll keep y'all updated. You know, I'd like to play something too, like um, like Will of Fortune, or it, it, yeah. Can we can we do any Absolutely. of that? Absolutely, yes. There's okay. so many online games. I'm gonna show you. I have a whole list. I mean, you can play okay. just about every game you can think of. And there's one called um, Trivia Crack. Have Have y'all ever played Trivia Crack? It's so much fun, and they have yeah, the I'll online it. version. It's real fun. We could play Cards Against Humanity. Wheel of Fortune, Hangman. I mean, there's all kind of games. So maybe next time we'll do a different game. Okay, Tammy Sue, so we'll be right in the private chat here in just a minute. All right, everybody. Um, we're going to jump out of here for tonight. Evidently, we've got something going on. So hope everybody had a good night. You ready to head out, out Megan? Yeah, good night, y'all. Have a good, good night. Uh, rest of your Sunday.